Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to this Vanilla TV cast. It is the second map coming on right now between Revolution and the Meta Game and all tied up slash Skidmark Central slash BFF. I'm not exactly sure what we're meant to be calling them now. I think it is all tied up, but you did miss, if you just joined us, you did miss a, a very close, intense first map, which uh, went to a golden cap, and that's all I'm saying. Uh, IDOC is still with me right now, and we are looking forward to that. And I'm just looking at the, some of the damage stats which were put into the, uh, uh, the Twitch TV chat. And uh, a lot of damage coming out from the scouts, and really there is also just a lot of damage coming out by, you look at kills by, when you look at it, Kade is getting a lot of kills, Tech getting a lot of kills, like, the use of suspects are getting kills, but it's it's mainly the soldiers of, um, of Revolution doing all the work. Yeah, the soldiers are really good at zoning out the people, and they have... They really use the advantage on Badlands, they really roomed uh, around, they do not want to get uh, give up any sort of space whatsoever, they used every single advantage they could get, and we could see that on RLM, they turned around about three waves, but at the third wave they just had to give up, they had to put up the white flag and say you know what guys all right you did it now and we're just gonna we're just gonna lose this one but the second map is going to decide whether or not we're gonna go on a third map am i correct scully no no there's only two maps oh, no that's, we're not that's we're not doing the that's, three maps i'm afraid yeah the last week of the season is only two maps our time for three maps will come my friend it's gonna be you know uh, that yesterday was so much fun to do, but unfortunately it is two maps here, but I'm pretty sure now this is just going to be, I'm just going to check the table because I just need to double check this. I'm pretty sure this is home and dry now. Let's see right there. All tied up won that, so they get two points for that. That's going to put them to 11 points, one point behind Solar, but also an extra map ahead of them. So if all tied up were to win the next map, that would be three points. That would take them to 14. And basically, Solo would only need three points. They only need to win one map from the from their last game to secure the fourth spot, and that's what they need. For Revolution, it's a little bit more tricky. They have, they have now got nine points because of the one point for a Golden Cap loss, and then if they win this one. That's going to put them to twelve, and then they've got a game left to play. And Revolution would have to make sure Solo lose for them to go through. Is everyone with me here? It's very confusing. It's the permutations that I'm just catching up on. That is the permutation. So, basically, what we're saying right now is Revolution need to win this, or that's it. Their last game won't really have an effect on whether they go to the playoffs or not. Yeah, I still hope they will win because they have shown off so, so much skill really in the last game. And they really deserve to do it because if they can keep up with Cadiz's team, all tied up, BFF, Skidmark, whatever you want to call them, then they're really worthy of a win. And I think, I think they're not that demotivated because they know how close the last map was. And we are going to go live any second now since all the players have joined up. So about the map now, we do like to see a lot of snipers on the middle point. Do you think we're going to see a lot of snipers on the middle point, at least on the, not on no. the first push, but... Not totally. on the middle point. I don't think they're gonna. I don't think either team can rely. Maybe Clockwork with 150 ping as a sniper. Maybe you may <laughs> see him. But when you've got Tech, Tech is just disconnected and he's coming back again. And hopefully, when you've got a guy like Tech, he can off class. But because he's a soldier that off classes, it's harder. So you've got to pick the positions right. Otherwise, you can't go into a mid fight with one soldier. It's not going to help them. So that's going to play on their mind. Uh, but then again, you've got Quad and you've got Walters. I do forget about them. Like, how can you forget about Quad and Walters? What an idiot I am. Because those two are just fantastic. Those two will probably will go Sniper. But I don't feel it's going to be any Sniper middles. I could be completely wrong. But we're going to see a lot of Sniper plays coming out onto the second point. And maybe going in for last. Which I haven't, I haven't seen a lot of uh, Sniper plays on last for a while on this map. But it is going to be another test of RLM's defense, and we know how good their defense was last match. Yeah, indeed it was, and RLM might even pull out a good pyro on the last point just to make sure to keep the tight corner safe. The Riverside is mostly the best choice to go with the uh, pyro there because you can just get out that tight corner pressure really, and that will give them some time, or at least buy them some time, and they have to watch out for the spy backup because we saw it today. It is possible, so if they don't watch out, they could just do it again, and the last guy is still missing. It is... Mark, no, it's not Mark. So who did not join up yet? Oh, it's, oh, it's confusing. Did you never it's mind? Tech. It's... Yeah, it's still tech. I think mean, we're still waiting on tech. So uh, that's going to be interesting. 
Uh, oh, I can actually listen to their comms and see what's happening right now. Let's just see what the comms are like for Revolution. Let's see if they're calm. Pretty sure they are. It was a tough, lo tough, um, a tough loss. But let's see what's going to happen right now with their comp. I asked Harbour if he could, and he said would, and now he's just fucked off. Um, or you can ask him, but ask if they'll allow it. If Team Mac, if they'll allow Team Mac, will play with Team Mac. Wow. Um, am I? Uh, is that gossip that we've just heard? That they're looking for a merc. Can they not? Yeah, look, they, they're asking for T Mac. They need a merc to play, and what better choice? Let's re let's replace the former soldier of Punchline with the port former soldier of Punchline. It is a fantastic <laughs> switch up there. Bring it in T Mac if they allow it. It's just gonna be great because by the looks of it, it sounds like Tech can't play. So let's hope they can bring out T Mac. It's gonna be a big. Well, no, by Skeet. Okay. What? No. Do they? It, it, it could be interesting. I mean, they can't. They can't start off a six v five. That would not be the best way to start off. But if they bring in the Merc, that will also be a very interesting thing to watch. So RLM, they're just not. It's it's not their day, really. First the internet issues, then the pauses, and then the such a close game in the last one. So that is just going to be really, really hard for them. So what is happening now? What is happening? The chat is just going wild. They still, they're still unsure what is going to happen. And before anything starts off, we still have not talked about the map itself. So I think this is the uh, best time to like start because we will ha get a lot of time as it does look like. So what can you tell me about the map itself, Scully? The map has been in the pool for quite a while now, probably... Five, uh, more than five seasons, Gully. It's about like eight seasons. When I started playing TF2, this was starting to come into the, the pool. Uh, it used to be water underneath the point. So a lot of people do call underneath the point water because it used to be water. Uh, it was always a little function there. It was quite slow. Um, that, and also when Gully Watch was finally made an official map, there was a drop down section made in middle point. So that was that was also created for them. Uh, what's happened right now? I can't see anything or see anybody. Yeah, I see where they are. Uh, there, there's a drop down area. That brings out a lot of places which is seldom used. And when it's used, it's using a good thing. Like, the, the, the cop community hasn't really incorporated it. It's mainly just a, a run away or try and go for a sneaky play. So, the drop down isn't used a lot, uh, as, as I'd like it to use. The middle point is also unique. It's kind of like the Badlands, like we saw. But let's turn the bridge 90 degrees, and let's say you've got a train on the middle of the point that you can stand on. That is the best way to describe this midpoint for someone new. This is a map which everybody took arms wide open, and is perhaps, probably, after Snake Water, my favourite comp map to play. Uh, it's bad. I don't, have you ever played on this? Um, I don't know if you've played it, because it is it's amazing to play. Just so many spots, so open, so open to play. The choke point is so bit, is so clutch to go for the big door and the sh small door. Big door is so used effectively nowadays because of just where you can go through a lot more area, and you're able to jump under, you're uh, underneath the, the medic combo usually, and you can jump up. So really great play there. And I'm just seeing what the latest is. They're still discussing Merc. They still are, and they could take us quite some time now. So. Uh, tell us about what happens if the Merc is not going to show up, then they will automatically lose the game, am I correct? Or can they just no, start 5v6? They can, play with, they can play with 5. Um, would it be sporting? But it's not against the rules. Um, I have heard Haunters coming in. Um, I must admit, I did have to play with 5 once before because they refused a Merc. Um, it was, it, there, there, it, there was a bit of controversy about it. Um, the, the problem is, like... Either you agree the Merc or not, and I think that it's mainly you've got to try and make a, agree on a Merc that is about the same, about the same skill, and they probably felt that I, I've got to laugh at that. They probably thought T Mac was not was better than Tech. I can't really. Uh, no offense to either of them. I've met them at LAN before, but they played for the same team once before, if I'm not mistaken. So surely they're about the same level. So they're bringing in Haunter. I haven't seen Haunter for a while. Is there a lot of c c talk from Hunter? Well, let's just see if there's anything on the comms. I am liking this one sec. Ah, no talking. That's going to be helpful as well. Um, 
That, that's very cool. Uh, I think we may have to just sort that out as well. Cause I think Haunter may be suppressed on the mumble. The the team comms, I do apologise. Trying to get them up as uh, as often as we can, but um, trying to find a break in play is uh, kind of hard to find sometimes. I feel. Um, well, Haunter not joined, so Haunter yeah. has joined up. It is 6v6, and we're gonna go live any second, ladies and gentlemen. So just stand around and don't go away anywhere. And uh, it's going to be interesting. Yep. Uh, did you just drop or you just gone silent again? I think you went silent again. Uh, okay, apparently T Mac and Tech never played for the same team. Where the hell? They're both French, aren't they? So that's probably what I'm thinking about it. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, I maybe screwed up there. Yeah, I'm sorry. I probably screwed up. But. Uh, just a few shout outs right now. Shout out again to tf 2 l for the tournament. A sponsor, uh, their sponsor as well, Blackout Gaming. Huge thanks to Blackout Gaming. One of their streamers, David, yesterday streamed for 10 hours straight for us in the ESA Cup. So, you know, they're some, they're some good guys. They've got a cast on at the moment. So, when you get a chance to check out the VODs, please do. It's kind of, you know, they, they do do some good work. Uh, shout out as well to IDOC and, of course, so my lovely Lithuanian friend Warden on the camera once again. I love him. I don't know how much alcohol he's had tonight. I don't know if he's had alcohol tonight. I don't care. He still does an amazing job. Um, feel free to check us out right there. Are we getting... Uh, yeah, uh, feel free to... Uh, oh, apparently Warden is searching for ducks on the map. Um, apparently that's what he's doing. He is searching for ducks on the map. Uh, that's that what is. he just told me. <laughs> there we go. So, it wasn't a blackout streamer. I'm sorry, Russian. I thought David was a, was a blackout streamer. I apologize. I, I you know... Yes, I probably have had alcohol, but I'm sober. I've been sober for about four, three months now. Uh, a few shoutouts here. Check out our face. Oh, they are live, actually. Is this live? Yes. Crap! We are live. <laughs> and the midpoint is going to get contested by the both teams. They're really aggressive. Haunter is doing an amazing job. Jumping in and he's going to get the medic pick himself. So he's making himself quite useful. Yet currently joining up the team and already getting a kill. Getting a triple kill now on his watch. Dropping down to 28 HP, but it is not going to keep him busy. He's going to get the fourth kill. Haunter is now just going to join on the server, get the wipe, and then get the point for his team. And that was a substitution. I think it was worth going for. A brilliant play from Haunter there. Just what they needed. Nice little bit of aggression. Holding on there. Straight away. Gets a few kills. Just what they need. And they don't have Uber. It's going to be equal Ubers because both medics went down. It's going to be equal. Yeah, it's going to be medic versus medic. Uh, I'm just trying to regroup myself with my massive cock-ups there. I do apologize. <laughs> what are they going to be doing right now? Let's see. It looks like they do want to... Revolution, they just want to hold back a little bit, which is fair enough. Like, early game, 28 minutes. Let's not be too aggressive. Standard procedures right there. Sorry. Standard procedures. Your two scouts and a soldier holding the big door. Now a move around right there. And this is smart play from Revolution. Waiting to go in. And they, I think they're just going to wait. Maybe they'll go for a, for a bomb. They know that Cadis has got a lot of stickies. A lot of stickies there. Into the choke point. So it looks like that. Uh, yeah, it looks like BFF may want to go on this. Yeah, the elbow point is now currently stick it up fully. And there's Walters now actually not getting sticky it up so he just got blown up by Dallas and Cadis and Cadis did pull out the stickies but it was not enough but nevertheless the sticky trap is now down clockwork doing a good job there but it has to go back because he dropped too low and there's the Ubers being exchanged we see Skeech now they're just standing there body blocking each other not really much going on but now the next click is gonna decide Dallas is gonna get marked and this could be the paw no not the paw sorry it is this could be the situation where Spin has to go back and he is going back the soldier is gonna jump up bottom is he going to be able to stick him out of his quad there to just reinforce this man he can make sure he survives and goes back to live another day uh, I was gonna say where where was Walters? Walters was there as a sniper. He could not get the headshot off there. I wonder where he was. They do hold on to this. Walters still looking for some, still looking for play. Is he going to get something? It looks like he's going to have to back off there. So it's not going to be good for them. BFF are capitalizing on this. Let's see what's going to happen. They are going to take down Walters. Let's just get into the conf right now. The momentum is BFF. Go with the top right. I'll go with. I'll go with. Don't worry. I'm spamming. Can we get in somewhere? I'm going to go in top left. I'm, right. I'm going to jump in now. So this only popped. I'm on the demo. Demo's going to spawn. I'm going point. I'm yeah, I'm going point as well. Scout's full. Scout meat shot. Uh, two and one. I'm dead. Wow. I can't really get this. No kill. Well, we focus point, but then we 
Scout got Ubered on point, so... Yeah, but that, okay, fine, thanks for doing my analysis job right there. They focused the point, they ran onto the point, and that cost them. And how many times have I sat here talking to you, doing a cast, saying that if you focus, all jump onto the point, they are gonna, you are going to get focused down? Yeah, it's a very small point, so you can just concentrate your rate of fire exactly on a small spot, and that is the most, uh, that is the mistake that most teams do make. They want to go for it, but then they just keep forgetting that there are still players who are defending it, and that mostly gives them up the error, and that is why most of the times the points can't be held, but now we have Quad pushing it forward, and RLM just want to go for it. Kades even though takes Snip down, but this point might even go down on Contessa, or they go to jump in there, the rocket, uh, the rocket jump, Dallas is gonna just defend the point, with his body block quad now dropping down to 5 HP has to back up and the medic himself spin is gonna go down so we have a defense now coming down from all tied up but are they going to be able to just hunt the rest of the remaining team down and kill them all they are and now they're just gonna go for the middle point and capture it so it's a back and forth but overall I think RLM could do it they just need the momentum and they just need the initiative and snap this net now just jump it up and he gets air shotted what a great shot there by it's Flisco wow So we have also now Quad going around on the other side, he just take one out, it's Flisco, just doing it again, and now Flisco is gonna go down, ultimate medic, oh, he takes him out! So why a nice jump indeed there, and he did get the medic, so he's just gonna rotate around the point, the Flisco, Oh, he did exchange kills with Mark, and now Skitch in deep trouble, he's jumping up, he has only 50 HP left himself, pulls out the medic gun, and heals up, so overall now, it is going to be RLM, who are still still on the offensive and we have all tied up still going down a bit on the defensive and let's see let's find out just what on earth they're going to do they need to come up with something they really need to come up with something now hold in the middle but we have greg now taking haunter down so it is going to be an overextension punished and cadis and let's see what cadis is going to do with the blue sticky on the blue side yes they are the blue side i just get confused from time to time but still yes we are back and cadis is now going to push on onto the middle point what have I missed? I do apologize for that. That is the first time ever I've had a net crash and I do apologize. This is what happens when you live in the middle of nowhere with a router. It looks like BFF, they do have the aggression there. Is that what we're seeing? Were they just yes, being a little do. bit aggressive? Yes, we do. We do see that indeed. Uh, we saw that now quite a few times. They didn't have a back and forth turnaround as we did see the most of the game. So it is not really, it's not decided because both teams overextend, both teams get dropped, and both teams get picks. So no one is there. And Kades actually takes Mark out. He punished his overextension yet again. It's just happening every single time. Dallas is going to go in and force them Uber onto the medic. So it is a good play overall. And we still have a chance for them to come back, but all tied up. They're still very, very, very strong. Looking absolutely dominant here onto the map. But all they're going to be able to do it is Kades is going to jump in and take one out. So we have Kades taking Snip out and and, oh, Clockwork doing fantastic job here on the flanks. Taking one upper we can see here. Mark getting Clockwork. So it is going to be a another massacre. And we still can't see in which favor it is going. Now it is just a bit too obvious. All tied up. Did emerge victorious out of a, after a very, very long back and forth. And this, I think, is going to be a very long and very interesting game. And we might even see a second golden cap coming up, Scully. Maybe, maybe not. Look at Cadis already. He's jumped past. No one's noticed it. Snippets gets taken down. Cadis has jumped all the way off to the point there. Walsh's go sniper. So is that going to pay off for them? They have noticed the sniper, surely. Yeah, Walsh's is going to have to back off there. Will he return? Let's see. He wants to return right now for a headshot. Get the body shot onto Greg. Get the kill onto Greg. And that's all she can write right now. He gets taken out. Yubi gets forced though. They had no choice. On Skeet with like 10 health. Does finally get it. They are going to pick this up right now. So. So revolution in the meta game. What are you going to do? You are defending. What are you going to do? I ask. Let's see. Well, the only time will show. Let's, move. Let's go. The pocket soldier's dead. Pushing right side. No one is main. No. No doors. I'm watching base. I'm front door. Big ballistic. Big ballistic. Big ballistic. Sniper. Sniper. Big door. Come on, come on. Down weak. Come in. Ah. Sniper weak as well. It's so slow pushing. Demo 90, demo 90. Sniper picked up, solid top. This front, Demo, Demo still 90. So, Sniper's Let's go back. Just you two. Oh! Let's wow. go. Wow, was that great with a double with double and then free there? But I do agree with the call that they are really they are really just so low on their pushes that it's gonna be all it is there. It's gonna be 1-0 finally after 9 minutes. We finally get a result.
And maybe that just indecisiveness, just not getting down to, to positions, not holding off what they need to do, did hold them there. But you've got to say, BFF did a great defense there to set up that that point cap. Yeah, Greg's play was absolutely key to that push. Getting three kills plus the medic drop. It was not a drop, but it was a pick nonetheless. And now we can see now mid point is going to get contested again. Both the teams are going very aggressive. We can see Greg and Quad now exchanging kills overall. And it's going to be just one-on-one -on -one exchange. And now we have Alter. Oh, so super aggressive onto the medic. But he is not getting it. It's the drop coming down. We have, oh, it's Walters who gets the medic. So that was, that was just a one-sided push. And it's just the last one. The last frag made the difference. Walters, the last guy standing on the point, And he's going to get the cap. And that was so very close. I can't even describe how close it was. Yeah, Walters is there once again, the king of the mountain. Some great play there. A little bit sloppy there when they, they took down Ski. But then they were a little bit sloppy. Could not keep spin protected. Did manage to uh, take, did manage to actually win that point though, so that's the crucial thing. And But the problem is now Skeej died first and with a big advantage. And we can see, well, I say it's a big advantage, it's only 15%. So they can't go in on it. So it's done enough right now because Spin builds this fast enough. And he is actually starting to, spit, to spit, build this faster. Which is more crucial, just checking that is Minigun, yeah. Trying to build that faster, and look how aggressive they want to be, they're holding at the big door. It looks like they want to go big door, and now BFF see that, and they're not going to go on to this. A fake call there, thinking it's Chris Creek, and now they finally get it 100%. Spins on now 90, they're going to go in for this, it looks like, oh, they, yes! Yes, they're going to go in on this. Well, it was very aggressive. They were very aggressive. A bit too late, but still the Ogres do get exchanged. That is going to be worth it overall. Flisco is not forced to retreat back, and we just have them on the offense. And now Walters getting a pick onto Skeej, and Walters now trying to get a second one and gets an assist with Haunter. So Haunter and Wal is doing a fantastic job. Clockwork, they're getting Walters up, and Haunter is there to punish his overextension. And Clockwork is now going to rotate around the point, go back, and actually goes for the. Oh, he drops the demo. He's now. Oh, Clockwork with just 9 HP remaining gets the medic. And Quad now is again the last guy on point remaining. Is he going to be able to defend it now? It's it's Quad. It's Quad. Oh, Quad. What is he going to do? He's just standing on the point with just 21 HP. Melee the fight. Tension. Melee fight. Oh, Walters ruins a melee fight. You evil man ruining a melee fight between Cadence. And I believe that was a snip is there. Yeah. Dallas just comes in though, stop the point, they want to try and capture this point, so Marks having to stay on the point there, being a little bit strong, but they have to hold this right now, the point is captured, this is the thing, with the pipes, with the aggression, you can get onto this point so easy, there we go, Spin gets taken out from Blisco being aggressive, you either focus down the point and defend the point, or you, focus, or you help your medic, not going to be helping them, so they've lost Spin, they've lost this point again, and there they go right now, so, oh, is that last scout, that's Quad, no, Quad gets taken out, Market the last man alive. There's not much he can do. He's going to have to retreat. BFF again in the driver's seat. They're looking really strong right now. And they do indeed. And Spin now just getting the... Uh, is uh, now going to get the uh, respawn times up. And he's going to build up. And now it's just going to be too late. Since we have all tied up with super offensive. They can go. And they will go for the offensive push here. Snip actually taking Clockwork out. But at what price? Dropping dangerous low. Just 70 HP now. Has to back off to his medic. And get the extra heals up. So that is just going to give them a bit of a time but there's the over push them coming in they don't have a chance at all we have them oh we have a triple we have a double build by Cadus and Flisco is gonna get one Craig is gonna pick one up what is down to the point but it is all over for them it is 2-0 for all tied up and this is what you get they got punished really really badly for that some great aggression there happening there from BFF the confidence now is with them Pretty sure that a little bit of anger from RLM, probably a little bit of gamesmanship as well from BFF, does not help RLM. I'm going to see right now, let's just go to the BFF comp, see what's going to happen. They take it down Mark straight away really early. Are they going to capitalize on it? Scout on point. I'm He's very low. Both scouts are right. I'm getting out. You I'm got to fight. Speech. Yeah, I'm just... Sword of top right. Sword of here. Dead. Just nice. medic, let's go fast. Just He's not building. He didn't build shit. Let's... Someone cap mid? Mm. Yeah, yeah, I'm capping. Don't worry. Don't worry. Uh, it's I'm coming now. Let's go demo. Met already, got with them Oh, I've got only 60. We didn't build either, actually. We're just gonna have to take two and keep yeah. it with that. Apologies for the uh, the swearing there, of course, you know, we, we try and keep it PG and then that does happen, we can't help that. That is true though, they managed to get the aggression out there, prevent his pin from doing anything. And here he is, Spin stayed alive that mid and doesn't have Uber. Ski stayed alive that mid and has Uber. So basically this is gonna be, this is gonna work in the favour of BFF again. It's gonna be another defence here. 4 LM. Are they going to be able to make it free? Are they going to actually defend this finally? They need to. They're going to have Ubers right there. And 
Yeah, we just gotta wait for the push now. Yeah, no off closing coming up yet from RLM. They are still waiting up and hoping that their Uber will be enough to just stop the Uber push. So Uber versus Uber, a counter Uber coming up. But they could still go for a very risky sniper play, but they don't want to do it. So yet no of the teams, none of the teams are overextending. All the sides are clean. They're gonna turn it up quite now. Actually tries to get a pick onto the balcony. He's like, oh, he actually gets it. And the Uber has been a force. They're gonna jump in and onto the point. There's the guy. What on earth are they doing? Oh. Oh, he almost captured it! He almost did it again! But unfortunately, unfortunately for him, they just stopped him in his track and RLM are still in the driver's seat. Now they're so, so very great in having those comebacks and they're just proving it again. They're gonna go for it. They're gonna capture the second point. They might even capture the middle. It is not all lost yet. They can still make the best out of the worst situation they're currently having right now. 2-0 down. Let's see if they can go up for a golden cap or even win the rounds. Yeah, they got a little bit out of position there because now notice Greg is the sniper. They could not prevent four guys getting forward respawn. They do take down Greg straight away, so I'd eat my words there as that's just taken out again. I do feel that RLM have the advantage right now, but Ski is building fast. Does this mean it's Chris Craig? No, it's Medigun. What is Spin doing? Really building slow on this, but they are being aggressive. That soldier straight in right now. Who's that soldier? It's Walters. Snippers gets taken down, sorry. So they are taking this down. They're losing numbers though. Snippers and Walters. Now comes Spin with the Uber. He has no choice but to force it straight away. It's only a scout and a soldier. What can they do? Over they take the kill right now. The Uber's finally popped off for Skeet. And while that is happening, there are the backup happening. Quad is the only guy. He gets taken down from Cadus. Spin's on his own. Spin is gonna die, surely. Here comes the Bono. Walter comes in, takes down Skeet. That is gonna be a suicide. Wow! Not the right medical court was gonna die on that fight, but it's still a medic taken down. Great play from Taunter, or is it? Because it looks like Skeet Spin is still gonna be focused down. Finally gets taken down, so Haunter's play there was in vain. And BFF is still trying to hold it, but Quad is holding on to this. So they are gonna hold on to middle just, but they did lose their medic again. Quad forced Skeech to deploy his Uber while they were in the lobby and that is exactly what gave them the momentum and the time to push on forward. After they saw it, they jumped in with the Solis and took out the enemy medic and that was the right time to push and RLM are just using their dominant force even though they're behind on uh, Uber, they're still having the advantage in points and now we can see Quad overextending a little bit too much and that is something you can't really allow yourself to do in this kind of situation, it is close and now they just have to keep their sounds calm and make sure that they get through the points 60%, almost 70% versus 100% let's see if all tied up are going to commit to this, yes they are, Skeet is now gonna pop it and where is the team, there's Dalla taking Haunter out is it going to be enough as we just have the second point being captured so it was not overall a very big play so Skeech kinda, um, well, nah, it was big. he kinda wasted it. I'm no, it was big. It was big. They forced Spin out so far. Spin, Spin finally gets the Uber. Yes, it's Chris Creek. It's no, it's Chris Creek. I wonder why he had to pop the Chris Creek onto Quan and the Scouts. I thought that was Uber. I misplayed that. It was Uber there, so it's not helped them. And Spin gets taken down. In that situation, if he had Uber. This could be a different story right now, I feel. But there goes Quad and Walters. Take it out, Cadence and Greg. They will pick up the point right now. Clockwork and Dalla finally spawn. Where is Skeet? Is he a back at base? Yes. Two scouts versus the free combo. That's not going to work for them. Revolution now can hold the lobby and be able to push in for the build up, push in for this. Let's see. It is Chris Creek for spin. Now, I'm pretty sure the Chris Creek didn't work for them last time. Walters goes down again. Is it going to work for them like this time? Oh, Clock, we're doing a fantastic job here on the Riverside, actually getting a drop and uh, taking a one very low, so he's just doing a good job on flanks, keeping them at bay, and oh, he almost ate a direct sticky and a pipe onto his side, but it's Blisco taking quad out, Snip is there to get with Dalot and Snip, also exchanging kills, so Snip getting a double kill, still emerging victorious out of that one, but we still have now all tied up, all the offensive, and there's nothing that RLM can do against it, but to wait up, and there is Flisco, Flisco is gonna go on to the medic, is he going to be able to force him, unfortunately, does not connect the rockets has to back up for now at least but nevertheless all tied up all going to get this point are they going to be able to push on forward and oh it's a medic kill it's a drop out to the medic and it is going to give them a huge advantage to push on forward quad dropping down 25 hp is pistoling head on head with the enemy scout oh he actually denies them the health back so good job by quad greg did not stand a chance and now spin with a crit screen
Earthquake. RLM on a full offensive. They might even take the last point. There's no one uh, is to defend it. There's the spot touch, but it is all over. It is so very close. And the pain train did pay off and trained the pain. You have just witnessed the quad pistol. You have just lost your quad pistol virginity. That is why it's called the quad pistol. Took down Greg there just at the right time. I've played against that guy in MGE. My God, you run away from his pistol. That so that helped them there straight away. It's it gave him the advantage. And with 11 seconds, 11 minutes left, the soldier bomb here trying to take down the medic straight away. So if it gets nothing, and then then goes Frisco gets nothing. They lose quarter at the same time. Now goes Walton. Gotta be aggressive. Some air surfing there from Skis. The nice horns are getting any shot on that. And the, the aggression there has not worked for Revolution. They are having to pull out right now. So it's not going to be. Let's see. Are they sticking with Uber? Yes, they're sticking with those. No, it is Crit Spree. Now, you, is Mark going to go in with this? Yeah, I tell you what. Let's listen to the comp right now. See what's going to happen. Close the finger there. They're all choked. Going in. That's cold. Shut up. So uh, they're big, they're big, they're big, they're big. I'm coming to back up as well. Still choke. Still choke. Alright, just back up. They're coming choke behind. They have you with still. They're useful in the middle. Just good delay at least. Yeah, I think the delay is really helpful for them. But, uh, cause that delay had now popped the Uber, so gonna be equal Uber, well, should have been equal Ubers. It was a good salvage operation there, but unfortunately, Ski just now building. 10 minutes left and it's 2-1. They can hold on to this midpoint and that's all they're going to do. Wait for it just to lose a bit of time on it. Then rebuild themselves. They'll have the Uber. Spin is now, is he sticking back? He's still sticking with crits. I don't get what Spin is going with this right now. But they're sticking with it as they need to. And now they just got to hold on again. Their defense is great, but I feel it could be even better if they kept with Uber. Yeah, they could. And now we have the uh, team all tied up. They are still on the offensive. There's some... Sp Capture coming up by the scout, so it's a four man capture overall. And Mark is gonna finish Blisco off, so that is just going to give him a advantage and spin yet again. Gambling very, very high, going for the crit screen. And this crit screen has not worked out a lot. And there we see Dalla taking quad out, so that is just going to give him a man disadvantage. And here comes the Uber portion. Spin is just not able to keep up. It's a normal Uber versus a crit screen. What on earth was he thinking? Of course, they're gonna lose the point. What did I say? I, I feel that they could defend and you've got your demo man there right in front of three guys that's flicked with Uber and it's not working for them and can't get the crits off. I don't think it's getting the crits off. I think it's just being unprepared for it. It's not working for it. Not working for them. Let's see what's going to happen. I want to get the RLM comms right now. Let's see what's going to happen. Can they just pull this back? Well, they might Can you see them? So the I'm side. jumping now. Sorry, jump. I'm going for the medic. I'm very weak. Scout, top right. Medic down. You got me. It's sort of Archo. Where's the scout that I wanted on our side? Sort of quick. He killed. Sounds like there was a bit of communication issue er error there when you hear where it's a scout there. They could not get everything. There's just a lot of sloppy calls at the moment. It feels like it. Nothing's going to plan. And now with the sounds of it, it's starting like they're starting to look at each other and make the blame. The, 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 the morale is a little bit low right now and can you blame them? They lose this, they've got no chance of getting the fourth spot, so they need this badly. With eight minutes left, not over yet. You can't come back from 3 1 down with eight minutes left on Gully Watch. So they still got a chance for the tie up. Yeah, anything is possible. If they just really hurry up and get a capture, if they win the round, if they win a round, and then just go for the second round and get a wipe in the middle, it is still realistic for them to get a win and maybe even tie it up to make sure to go for a golden cap. But there it is. They're going to jump in. And Dallas is not going to be able to connect the shot through the air. And Dallas is going to take it out. And this is just, this is just RLM. Look, what is the quad? What is the Why? quad there with three pistols? There? What is Quad going to use? Managed to get the flank around. Took out Skeet before he could do anything. They'll capture the second point. There's a times five straight onto this. Two seconds, one second, zero seconds. There's no forward respawn as well for, for BFF. Revolution turned that round with a great play there. Get wrecked by the Quad Pistol. Welcome to Quad 2013. And there goes Frisco again. They are going to turn this around. And are they going to pick up the point? The Uber's forced this already. Maybe there's a bit of a bit of path it was already popped they do apologize so they're gonna take down Dallas and Skeet from that great turnaround they still got the U but and they still got the players they do indeed and Kate is now getting a kill 
but as we did mention uh, before, they could really commit to this push and they're just going super aggressive clockwork again on the line, right inside, doing some work. He wants to get the peak, picks up the health like to make sure that they deny them the push, and uh, there's just going to be clockwork and doing it again. And oh, Walters unfortunately could not get a pick whatsoever. But we have now spin and Skeej healing up. Skeej is slightly ahead in Ubers, but quad he might even go for a backhand. He is going for a backhand. Is it going to work out? There's still a guy point on. There's the last guy on the point remaining, but no, they're not going to get a backup. A snap is there to just defend the point, spin around with the needles. Is he going to be able to get something as he's going to get punished a lot with the damage and Haunter is going to go down. So spin still surviving, but is he going to be able to escape the situation as he's getting chased out and Walters? Oh, Walters on the left hand side. Unfortunately, does not connect. So it is now all tied up coming back into the game and we could eventually see a round. I'm not sure yet. One minute ago we were talking about Re Revolution looking to push. Now we're looking at BFF looking to push into the second. Here comes Yubi straight off from them. They've not noticed Mark behind them. Probably because now they've noticed him. It's not going to be much. Can Mark get anything off? No. Spin gets taken down straight away from Greg. It's not going to work for them. There goes Greg finally, but he takes down the Let's go take some snippers. Out of position right now is Skeej and Cadus. Can they get either of them? Oh, there goes Cadus. There should be Skeej against an Uber Sword. Not going to be enough. Vask out there. Can they be pesky? Well, here comes the cavalry. It's a bit late. Nala takes down Haunter. Blisco gets taken down. Clockwork gets taken down. Maybe they can push in on this. Where is the rest of them? There is one soldier still being pesky. I believe that is Dala. He finally gets taken down. I don't think Greg's anywhere. He's on the point trying to defend middle, so... Yep, I think oh, he gets a two shot with the meat there onto, onto Quad. Can he get anything else? Let's watch Craig right now. He fun. No, he gets nothing else. He gets snippers though, so that's okay. Gonna hold off the point. Oh yeah, Mark now trying to get a shot, but actually has to go back. He does get taken out by Vlogger. Ooh, what a fantastic job there, Clockwork. Just taking spin out as well. So we have a very, very dominant. Oh, here's a jump onto the Medic. Unfortunately for him, it does not get the pick. So Skeej is still alive and healthy. Clockwork now on the right-hand side. Quad is there to take Clockwork out. It might even be their timing that they had the Greg now onto the from behind Greg from behind oh Greg getting quad and Greg is now just gonna go down kill himself up and this is the yo-yo which has been going back and forth and um, for now it does look like that it is in favor of team all tied up but we have seen RLM doing some great comebacks and they could do it again this is looking good for them right now BFF getting ready on this what is BFF situation right now what is their game plan let's listen into the team comms right now just play with our sniper main door Oh, they're, not get, they're not getting healed, they're not getting healed, meds attached. Yeah, they're meds. Soldier's gonna choke, be careful. Soldier bug choke. Yeah. Get, go, get back and kill the soldier behind I'm now. I'm down. Nice, let's still up though. Only, if you kill him, only medic. He's got a second 80 here. He's killed, mate. I'm on last. It's wow. main, 27. Nice. That's so funny, I didn't even hit a shot and the medic was just too afraid to come out. Huh? <laughs> Falling. Wow, oh, wow, right, wow. The... Just the die. That wasn't right, I hit the wrong button there, so it's gonna be 4-1 now to BFF. Some great aggression there, call out a little bit from, from a uh, revolution coming forward. Did not work for them though, they managed to use you, but catch up where they were, a couple players out of position, and they are gonna take this, it's 4-1 now to BFF. Yeah, Kite is now very aggressive on the right hand side. He did get a. Oh, he might even get a pick onto the medic. Unfortunately not. He will try to get a drop there. And Kite is now dropping dangerously. He does get taken out. Then Arlen are super aggressive onto the point. They're just gonna take the point for themselves. And Mark is just doing a fantastic job overall. And Quad also on the flanks. This is just such a great communication. And they're just gonna push on very aggressive. They want to spawn camp, I think. They want to make sure that nobody gets on. Walters now on the spawn. Oh, he wanted to go for the minute, but unfortunately does not connect since he gets spotted a bit too early there. But uh, nevertheless, a defensive pyro coming out by Greg. So let's see if Greg is going to be there and going to be able to push them out and keep the point at bay. But uh, Uber's Uber wise, both teams are very, very equal. They're dead equal. They're going to build up together. So it is going to decide. I think the pyro play is going to be the decisive moment of the round, really. Yeah, with three minutes left, they've really got to go in for this right now, Revolution. Let's see what they are going to do right now. They can pick up Greg far foot early away. They haven't picked up Greg. Uber Exchange comes off right now. They just want a mad dash for the point. They need to mad dash for the point. They've baited, not worked. Quad gets taken down. 
Thing is, get a bit more there. There goes Greg as well. Some soldier bombing, not gonna work. There's a big cluster fuck there that goes down. Walters take down Greg and Dallas goes in. They have got the numbers, but they're forcing too many people onto the point. Mark's the last man alive. Can he do anything? Really, it's one versus two. Gonna walk onto the point, gets taken down by Sticky with two minutes left in 4 1. I am pretty sure that is it. It is gonna be a GG there. It looks like BFF is gonna take this. Oh, unfortunately for them, it could. And it's not really, it's not really a good side to watch. I mean, they just did such a great job, but I think they got demotivated a bit after the golden cap, since they thought that they had it, they really had it for a moment, they had me going there for a moment, but then they just lost it, and I think that was just a big morale de-boost for the team overall, and that is now while they're paying for a prize. There's Clockwork taking Walters out, Davos now tries to keep them off of the point, and we have Greg now taking one out, Kate is also getting Haunter, Snip taking Clockwork out, meanwhile, but it does not look good for RLM as they're just getting decimated one by one, it's only Spin alive, and Spin can't do anything all by himself all alone and that is just gonna give them a bit more time to breathe since Walters is going for the uh, sniper play so let's see what is gonna happen it's all tied up just come back out of a siege they had to turtle up for a while but now they're on the offensive BFF really pulled out all the stops today let's give a huge shout out to RLM for some great plays today some great defense they just could not keep up on the second map and really I think losing that first map was the morale we're basically the morale killer. The balloon was popped when they lost that golden cap, which is such a shame because, like, they could have used that. If they won that, if they won that golden cap, I'll tell you right now, this could have been a lot closer. But unfortunately, it's 4 1 in the favor. Could be 5 1. Let's just see if any BFF is going to take it slow. But really, BFF now, the, the, the fight, the spot in the playoffs are not in their hands. It's going to come down to solar. Are trying to beat the Frenchies. There's going to be a backup right there, so it's going to be 4-2. They do get 4-2. That will be all she wrote with the GG there with 23 seconds. It's been a really entertaining game today, and I want to point out Skeet with 105 points, and Greg with 73 points. Some great play there from Greg today, and some great play as well from Skeet. Some really great clutch plays there. Going to be fantastic for them, so... But now it's... Well, I say now, so. Now it is all up to Solar for them. Mm, it is indeed, but they did put up a good fight. We gotta admit, uh, RLM did a fantastic job keeping them at bay. Nobody, I don't think anybody was expecting that this game would be this close, really that close, and that one golden cap did decide the game for them. And I just want to use this opportunity, opportunity to say thank you for letting me cast again, and uh, take it away, Scully, for the... Uh, Ending title sequence, I suppose. Yep, let's just end for this. There, we don't have we don't have anyone to interview today. I'm afraid, but uh, yet again, let's just plug all the links again. If you don't follow us, there is a follow button at the bottom left-hand corner of the video. If you'd like to follow us, please do follow us. Follow us on Facebook. Follow, 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 follow. Follow us on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash vanilla TV org. We have a Twitter handle at vanilla TV. Our YouTube page, vanilla TV org, where the VODs will be put up within a few hours. Basically, inside 24 hours, the VODs will be up. Don't you worry about that. Vanilla TF2.org as well to check out there for all the latest posts. Uh, thank you very much again. A shout out to ETF2L as per usual on Blackout Gaming, the sponsors of the, of the, uh, of the league. I want to give a huge shout out once again to Warden for his work on the camera. Another huge shout out to Ari for setting up the, the uh, team comms. I do apologize for not using them as much as I would like to use them. Uh, but uh, thank you to all those guys. Again, thank you, IDOC, for another great cast. I have been Scully. If you're driving, don't drink. If you're drinking, don't drive. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, and we will see you later in this week. Remember, Brody vs. Sybatsu with Arks and Beta this Thursday. Thank you and good night.